but there's something about me that you may not know. I love vintage. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. There's something about me that you may not know. I love vintage. In fact, my eBay store used to be named Vintage Vicki, but I changed it to Avante Avenue for various reasons because uh, we used to make handmade jewelry and it was named Avante and I like I like the sound of Avante Avenue, but I'm going back to my roots in some of my videos. I'm not going to change my channel name. I've decided to start a series of vintage bolos, what sold on eBay, that's specifically in the vintage category. Any category, but it needs to be vintage. And I'm going to start my first one today with vintage coffee cups, coffee mugs, what sold on eBay. Coffee cups to be on the lookout for, B-O-L-O, -O, be on lookout. And I'm going to uh, get started on this, so keep on watching. Hope you will subscribe if you like vintage items. And with that said, let's get started. I'm on eBay in sold, sorted by highest to lowest and USA only. Let's just scroll down through here at a glance and then I'll go into more detail on several of them. I'm not sure about this first coffee cup selling for $2,200 while it was best offer. I'll see if I can find out more details on that one for you. Looks like Vintage Jadeite is going well. And Snoopy. Be on the lookout for Snoopy. I see a Firestone cup that's worth some money. More Jadeite. Love those Snoopy mugs. Corningware has a little bit of value. And Glass Bake. But let me delve into these a little bit deeper for you and see what we can find out. What we should be on the lookout for. As I said, I have the Vintage cups sorted by highest price plus shipping. And here's exactly why you can't believe everything you see. Do you see this far side coffee cup that said a best offer was taken on $2,200? Well, I decided to check that out and see if that was true. Was it really listed for $2,200? I'm going to show you how you can find these things out. Let's jump over to another website, see what we can find. I, first I go to the listing and I pick up the item ID number. And then I'm going to jump over to watchcount.com. I'm on watchcount.com and I'm doing an eBay item lookup. Do you see down here where it says $2,200? Do you see the start time and the end time? It started and ended on the same day. Well, I don't know about you, but um, that was a little bit suspicious to me. So there's a place for next to sold for. Do you see where it says true price here on eBay. Let's right click on that and see what we can find out. Here is what the Farside Coffee Cup actually sold for $22, not $2,200. I don't know why eBay can't correct this when you're looking at the listing and in the solds. Maybe, maybe it makes their numbers look better. Hmm, maybe. But anyway, it sold for $22 and I didn't find that out until going through watch count, entering the item number, and then going a little bit further with it to see what it really sold for. You can't believe everything that you see. Any items that I show you in my videos for bolos, if they have accepted an offer, I'll do the research and tell you what I can find out about the true price that it sold for. Let's continue. Here's a true sale of 14 vintage Jadeite coffee mugs, Jadeite Fire King Ovenware coffee mug cups, and that was a set of 14 that sold with 72 bids for $360. Wow, that would be great. Well, I can't say I'm necessarily impressed with the uh, photos. I think they could be better quality. I will say that's a great sale and one that I would welcome any day. So be on the lookout for Vintage Jadeite and pick them up one at a time if that's what it takes. This adorable Vintage Snoopy mug with the Red Baron it actually sold for $280 on offer and had free shipping. It's a Fire King Anchor Hawking mug. And yeah, be on the lookout for Snoopy. Yes, this vintage Johnny Carson Tonight Show coffee mug actually did sell for $300 with free shipping. You know, I have never seen one in the wild, 
but I will be on the lookout for it, that's for sure. So keep in mind that uh, Johnny Carson items can be highly collectible. The six vintage corning wear in the cornflower blue pattern sold for $181.25 with 13 bids. You know, it's a pretty common pattern and I often see this out, but I had no idea that the coffee cups were worth so much. So keep your eyes open for the Corningware Blue Cornflower because the coffee cups can be worth some money. I actually think these would look better photographed on a black background. But when you sell them, who can complain, right? Be on the lookout for Vintage Anchor Hawking Fire King coffee cups. This is the Kimberly Diamond pattern. And you'll be willing to pick them up, collect them in various colors. I had a green one not too long ago. I have just a little white one here right now. See that little diamond pattern, Kimberly diamond pattern, but they come in all different colors. So yeah, keep your eyes open. If you can only find one, pick up one. This went for $157.50 with 34 bids. These three vintage Delphite, uh, Delphite Blue Fire King coffee cups sold for uh, $159.99 with only one bid on auction plus buyer paid shipping. I don't come across these very often, but you know, be on the lookout for these. I'd say that's a pretty good return on whatever they paid for these at $159. I can't imagine they paid a whole lot. Coffee cups are pretty cheap. A lot of times people just don't know what they're worth. Here's a set of eight retro glass baked green gingham plaid tulip melt glass coffee cups and they did sell at $173.50 and 27 bids on that so that shows me that they're they are in demand. Of course, could have, could have been two people bidding back and forth with the 27 bids. But yeah, be on the lookout for the tulip pattern. I imagine they probably made these in other colors too. But check out the uh, glass bake cups. Even something as simple as the white melt glass Fire King coffee cups can sell. The, a set of 12 here sold for $142.50. Not bad for just plain coffee cups. I imagine you'd want them to be in very good condition. It says the cups are in very nice condition. Seven bids, again, sold for $142.50 on a very plain white coffee cup. But it's milk glass and it's Fire King. I don't know about you, but I have never seen these coffee cups out in the wild. They look a little wild. Four vintage McCoy Pottery coffee cups. I guess it has a number 9235 King Kong Gorilla Black Coffee Mug Cup. Did sell $141 plus buyer paid shipping and there were six bids. So look for these McCoy Gorilla King Kong Coffee Cups. Say that 10 times real fast. Can you believe a teddy bear cup can sell for $143.50? And the bear is only on one side of the cup. But this Anchor Hawking Coffee Cup did sell for $143.50 with 15 bids. Not sure what the number is on the bottom. I guess it's the size and the, the ounces. I've never seen that way. I've never seen that way of doing it before, but it works. Nice sale for someone. Starbucks can do well quite often and this vintage Los Angeles City uh, Randy's Donuts coffee cup. A little bit of a different combination there. 18 ounce cup from 1998 did sell for $150 free ship. So if you ever get to Randy's Donuts, if they're still in business, pick up a coffee cup, save it for, I don't know, 98, 2008, save it for 20 years or more and it might be worth $150. Advertising can do well in this vintage holiday Inn coffee cup uh, from Salt Lake City, sold for $128.70 plus buyer paid shipping, not bad. Again, Vintage, Fire King, collectible, advertising, it's got everything. Let's take a look at a single coffee cup here. This is a rare 1980s uh, Vintage Apple Logo Macintosh computer keyboard coffee cup and had 14 bids and sold at $102 plus shipping. So be on the lookout for this style of mug. I know that I've seen these and I don't think I've ever picked one up. So be on the lookout for this one. It's hard to believe that a single coffee cup can sell for $83.90 with 18 bids, but it did. It's a Vintage Anchor Hawking Fire King coffee cup in a blue speckled pattern. So keep your eyes open for this. Who doesn't love a pink coffee cup? These are a set of two Vintage Fire King Coral Pink coffee cups. 
Sold for $81 with 29 bids and the buyer paid shipping and I think they're just beautiful. Here's a cute vintage Dunkin Donuts coffee mug with the Dunky Man, Donut Dunky Man. And uh, I guess it's a uh, beige color, it's China. Mint condition, sold for $75, just one bid, but that's all it takes sometimes. Be on the lookout for the Dunky Man. Here are some more Gingham Czech Cups, Fire King, Melt Class, nice coloring. Looks like they're in very good shape. They say used, they don't give you a lot of detail, but nice pretty colors and sold uh, $69.99 plus shipping. And it looks like that was just a uh, buy it now. Butter is even better when it's on a coffee mug. This vintage Nyanda Lakes Sweet Cream Butter Coffee Cup sold for $69.99 on um, Buy It Now plus shipping. It has the Mia Indian Maiden logo. I wonder if they'll keep that logo the way they're getting rid of all these logos. Such a shame, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, look out for these Nyanda Lakes coffee cups. They're growing for quite a lot on eBay. I'm not quite sure what makes this McDonald's coffee cup so rare. Um, I guess I wouldn't know one McDonald's cup from another. I don't drink coffee, but uh, McDonald's Fine China, vintage 1970s. Somebody thought it was rare, paid $99.99 with free shipping. We can't leave Burger King out of this. Here's a Burger King, here's a Burger Queen, good morning, um, Fire King coffee mug, has a number S49 on the bottom, sold sold for $91 on auction with 22 bids. Burger Queen. You know, I guess that does make it pretty rare. I never really thought about that. Is there an actual Burger Queen? Or is it just Burger King? Is this from Burger King? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. I've never heard of Burger Queen. Have you? This is a nice sale of three vintage Kimberly Diamond mugs. You know, the Anchor Hawking in amber glass. You know, a lot of people don't want the amber glass anymore. So I think this color will be easier to find. But yes, three of them sold for $71.99 plus shipping. Looks like they had a 40% off sale, but um, pretty nice price for those uh, amber mugs. These two vintage Hazel Atlas coffee mugs look like something you'd find at a circus with the stripes called Candy Stripe. Two of them sold for $66 plus shipping. Let's take a look at them here. Um, I have seen these before. I've never purchased them, but I, I've probably seen them in an antique or a vintage mall. So I'm going to keep my eyes open for these, and you should too. These are fun looking coffee mugs. Four of these, set of four with the uh, playing cards, you know, the poker symbols on them. Set of four sold for $69.99 plus shipping. And yeah, keep your eyes open for these. These don't even look in that good of condition. They looked a little washed out on the design, but still a nice find and a nice sale for someone. We can't leave out Dunkin' Donuts coffee mugs, can we now? A lot of six. Uh, Rego, I guess, says the brand on the bottom and has a number on it, restaurant wear. But anyway, uh, six of these sold for $64 plus shipping. So keep your eyes open for some retro Dunkin Donuts coffee mugs. You know, I've seen these coffee cups before, but I never knew they were Lipton. Glass Bake, uh, five of these sold for $70 plus shipping. It was a buy it now. Look like they're in pretty good condition. So definitely, if you can find these cups one at a time, buy them, save them up, and they're worth a lot of money. And we have to have another Snoopy mug, but this time we've got Charlie Brown with it. Vintage 1958. I kind of like that year since I'm a little bit vintage and yeah, I was born in 1958. Hope I don't look it. <laughs> anyway, I would like this cup. 1958 Snoopy mug, Fire King milk class. I feel strangely coffee cup by Schultz sold eight bids, $78.77 plus buyer paid shipping. Nice sale be on the lookout. So that completes my first vintage bolo haul for coffee mugs. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have bought and sold any of these coffee mugs, please leave a comment down below. It would be great to hear from you and what your experience has been in buying and reselling these types of coffee mugs. I'm not sure what the next vintage bolo video will be, but I'll have one out soon. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to receive notifications on future videos. I invite your comments and sharing my videos. I really appreciate it. 
And if you know me at all, I do all types of videos, so check out my channel, Avante Avenue. I am Vicki, and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers! I may not drink coffee, but I do drink tea.